back to metaglass. Occlusal aspect of permanent maxillary first molar. Let's see the basic characteristics. Maxillary first molar is normally the largest tooth in the maxillary arch. This is the maxillary first molar. Cusps. It has four well-developed cusps and one supplemental cusp. This is the maxillary first molar. This is the distobuccal cusp, mesiobuccal cusp, distolingual cusp, mesiolingual cusp, and the fifth cusp, cusp of caraboli. It has three roots, mesiobuccal, distobuccal, and palatal. The palatal root is the longest and the distobuccal root is the smallest root. First evidence of calcification of the maxillary first molar is at birth. Enamel completion happens at 3 to 4 years. Eruption is at 6 years and root completion is at 9 to 10 years. Let's see in detail the occlusal aspect of the maxillary first molar. It is somewhat rhomboidal due to outline of the four major cusp ridge and marginal ridges. This is the first molar. The shape is somewhat rhomboidal. This is the distal side. This is the mesial side, the buccal side and the lingual side. The two acute angles are mesiobuccal and distolingual and two obtuse angles formed are distobuccal and mesiolingual. As we already know, it has four well-developed cusps and one supplemental cusp, the mesiobuccal, distobuccal, mesiolingual and distolingual. The mesiolingual cusp is the largest cusp followed by mesiobuccal, distolingual, distobuccal and the fifth cusp. Let's learn something about cusp or tubercle of caraboli. It is known as the supplemental cusp. This is the supplemental cusp or the fifth cusp. The location is on the lingual surface of the mesiolingual cusp near the mesiolingual line angle of the crown. The fifth cusp may be indistinct or may be absent as well. Let's see the landmarks. We have already gone through cusp. Now let's go through fossa, groove, ridge and pit. Now what is a fossa? It is a depression or a concavity on the occlusal surface of the posterior teeth. This is a fossa. Groove. It is a shallow linear depression on the surface of the tooth. Ridge is a linear elevation on the surface of the tooth. And a pit, a pinpoint depression located at the junction of the developmental groove. So let's learn about all these landmarks in detail now. Fossa. It has two fossas, major and minor. It has two major fossas, central and distal and two minor fossas, mesial triangular fossa and distal triangular fossa. So this is the central fossa present in the center of the tooth. This is a distal fossa, distal triangular fossa and mesial triangular fossa. Now let's learn about grooves. This is a buccal groove as it is on the buccal side. The transverse groove of oblique ridge this is a central groove, distal oblique groove, fifth cusp groove and the lingual groove. Now the ridges. So this is the distal marginal ridge, mesial marginal ridge, distobuccal cusp ridge, mesiobuccal cusp ridge, distolingual cusp ridge and mesiolingual cusp ridge. The last one is the oblique ridge. Now there are three pits, central pit located at the deepest part of the central fossa, mesial pit located at the apex of the mesial triangular fossa, distal pit located at the apex of the distal triangular fossa. So what all we learned today? We learned the basic characteristics of the molar, then we learned about the evidence of calcification, enamel completion, eruption and root completion. We learned in detail about the occlusal aspect of the first maxillary molar. The occlusal aspect of the first maxillary molar is rhomboidal in shape. First maxillary molar has four major cusps and one supplemental cusp. Cusp of tubercle or caraboli is the supplemental cusp or the fifth cusp. 
the landmarks on the occlusal surface of the first maxillary molar we learnt about fossa ridge pit and grooves in detail you can find the link to the google form which has mcqs related to this topic you can attempt those mcqs and find out how much you learnt about this topic thank you for watching the video we hope you liked it and if you do please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell for any updates regarding our new videos see you in the next video till then stay healthy and have an amazing week